Nikki Haley made her first public appearance Wednesday since suspending her presidential campaign. She discussed what she's looking for in a president before announcing who she's voting for this November. Trump has not been perfect on these policies. I've made that clear many, many times. But Biden has been a catastrophe. So I will be voting for Trump. Having said that, I stand by what I said in my suspension speech. All right, I want to bring in CBS News campaign reporter Nidia Cavazos to talk more about this. So, uh, Nidia, she once said that <laughs> Trump was not qualified to lead the country. What else did she say yesterday, and how are those comments landing? Well, good morning. So the reason why Nikki Haley has come out to say that she's going to be voting for former President Donald Trump is because while she recognizes that he's not perfect when it comes to dealing with certain policies, he also hasn't been a catastrophe like Biden. This is why she's going to be voting for Trump. But she also did say that if Trump is smart enough, he's going to be reaching out to her supporters so that he can earn their vote because she says he cannot assume that they will be voting for him. Now, in terms of how this has been landing among several Repub Republicans. This has landed very well, given that, you know, they say it's about time. And according to some of our sources, we know that Nikki Haley had previously met just a few weeks ago with the donors that had been supporting her presidential campaign. And they had also been encouraging her to rally behind Trump in order to further his chances to potentially defeat Biden and Harris in November of 2024. Now, if you ask me how this has landed among Democrats, well, the Biden and Harris campaign campaign yesterday came out to say that this doesn't necessarily change anything, but they have been consistently tweeting out different clips of Haley on the trail when she used to say that Trump was a danger to this country and a lot of compilation videos of voters in the early voting states that they would say that if Haley didn't end up making it, they would not be voting for the former president, Donald Trump. So, you know, there are still people voting for Nikki Haley in some of these primaries, right? She still has a sort of a loyal group of people, which indicates to me that they're not interested in voting for Donald Trump no matter what. But I'm curious, you know, it's one thing for her to say in this kind of conversation about foreign policy that she will vote for him. It's another thing to formally endorse him and to show up at some of these rallies standing side by mm. side with him. Any likelihood that that would happen? Have we heard anything from Nikki Haley about that? It's unknown at this time if she's going to be formally endorsing uh, Trump for president. And you're right about this. There is a distinction to be made. While she did come out to say that she will be voting for Trump as a voter, she did say that her support comes as a voter. She's not necessarily endorsing him. We don't know if this is going to come in the next few weeks, in the next few months. But what we do know is that there is a value in Haley supporters. And as you've mentioned it, even though Haley dropped out of, out of the presidential race more than two months ago, she's still earning support among voters in several Republican primaries. And essentially, this is chipping away from Trump's uh, support among the Republican Party. So it's up you know, will be seen in the next couple of weeks if she'll come out to formally endorse him. Former President Trump will be in New York City today, not for his so-called hush money trial, but for a rally in the Bronx. 95% of the population is either black or Hispanic. This is also one of the most Democratic counties in the nation. So what can you tell us about why he's rallying there? In the South Bronx, it's over 64% of the neighborhood's residents who are Hispanic, and the rest end up being black. So this is simple. Trump is targeting black and Hispanic voters. And you're right about it being one of the bluest voting areas potentially in the country, because if we go back to 2020, this is an area that Biden won by over 83% of the vote. So we know that Trump is after the minority vote, but at the same time, we also know that the Biden and Harris campaign is also trying to do this the same. They are out with the new ads targeting black voters ahead of Trump's visit today. So we know that it's both campaigns who are targeting and essentially recruiting the black and Hispanic vote. So it'll definitely be interesting to see who ends up showing up to Trump's rallies. We do know that the permits for this event will allow up to 3,500 people. And we know that they're going to be Hispanic and black voters. Thank you.